Welcome back. Um, hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm not doing too bad um, myself. Uh, sleeping a lot for sure. But otherwise, you know, spirits are pretty high. It's raining out, which is kind of a drag, but you know, it's also nice in its own way. Anyways, um, kind of excited about today's reading. Um, I really enjoyed the Reuben reading. Um, Truth be told, uh, this is the first time I think I'm actually teaching um, uh, Fassbender and, and New German Cinema. Um, it's been a very long time since I've actually um, engaged with Fassbender's work. And reading um, Rubin's chapter, I don't know if for you all you felt the sense that a lot of the stuff was familiar. Um, and the reason I say that is because I think that of all the, the movements and filmmakers and material we've read so far, this might be the one that's the most kindred in spirit in terms of what the filmmaker is trying to do. And, um, you know, what, what we're trying to do in the class, I felt um, really strongly and, and, and it sort of resonated um, kind of emphatically for me. So, um, and I think in, in talking about it, you'll kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about, right? But yes, we are talking about cinema in post-war Germany. Um, you know, cinema uh, um, uh, 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 well after the after World War II. But to kind of get into the key points, and also I just want to I just want to point out that even though we're moving from um, West Africa to West Germany, um, uh, places that I usually I don't think we usually see being put in dialogue um, with one another. Um, there should be some resonances between what Fassbinder is sort of um, espousing, uh, very much in line with um, uh, Sam Benning, and, and we will talk about that for sure. But to get to our kind of key points to begin right off the bat, for one, um, there's this idea of the bourgeois world. Which is the world of capitalism. Um, and capitalist individualism. And this is on page seven. Um, when we get there, uh, there's it'll probably come up again. And then two, um, the role of ideology. And especially in terms of uh, capitalist ideology, the ideology of capitalism. This is um, a sort of point of critique, both for Fassbender and for Sinbene, right? And then three, again, we have a filmmaker talking about what it means to do cinema, but also art. And specifically, the intersection of art and radicalism. Um, not in this kind of like vague sort of, um, you know, um, kind of just broadly, let's say, celebratory um, or romantic. Actually, romanticism comes in into the discussion that will come in later, right? But with, um, you know, art as something that's, that's very, very particularly political. Right, um, and kind of strongly political, right? So these are the things that we will be talking about today.